Mountain game, a scout said he saw them like, you know, freestyle on some plays, lightly sourced. And also, I don't think defying is the fair term because What's... Kyrie and Nash were both the coach. Good point. So when one guy calls but a play, the other guy is they're, they're both call. the coach. Like, I mean, it's just kind of, you know, it, it, it's like the <laughs> battle of New York tonight. Knicks go to Barclays. Yeah. You'll be there. I'll be there, of course. Do you think the Nets are better off without Kyrie? Oh. All right, Brew, let's talk about this. Yeah. Nice. I know this is your beloved team. And I know even though you are not full-on hypnotized no. by Kyrie's skill the way some are, Kevin Durant. Th- there's is Kevin Durant, <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of the You're media. You're right. It is a, a lot of the people. Are, you yeah, know, it is a lot and, of guys. And by guys. the way, our, right. uh, the, uh, our dear friend, who we both have immense respect for, Stephen A. flirted with picking Kyrie to win league MVP oh, this yeah, year. He did. Like there's, and I'm not taking any shots there. I'm saying right. a lot. Of, so you're not hypnotized right. by his skill, but you occasionally daydream about it. He can ball. You occasionally he can ball. Every once in a while. Am I wrong? So every once <laughs> Look at while. that. Look at See, that. There we he go. can ball. So every <laughs> once in a while, can we please admit? And it is not because of three games. It is because of three years that Kyrie Irving is not part of a winning basketball team when it comes to the Brooklyn Nets. Mm-hmm. It is not just the defense, but on the defensive note, before Kyrie's suspension, they had the number 30 defense in basketball. Yes, there are 30 teams. They were allowing 116 per game, and the fewest points they had allowed in the game was 105. In the three games without him, it is 86, 94, and 96. 92 points per game. That would be the best defense. No, in they locking cats up. And they're 2 and 1, and we're a possession or two away from being 3 and 0 oh with a win over Luka. Mm-hmm. Are you willing to concede that for one reason or another, the Nets are better off without Kyrie Irving? Not quite yet. <laughs> well, now, first, let me, ask you, let me yes, ask you a question. Yeah. If the Nets cut, because it sounds like you're suggesting they cut Kyrie. Well, I think they could probably do something similar. I'm not advocating for the Russ for Kyrie trade, but a similar trade the Lakers were trying to do with Russ, which is trade a team that wants to get off some contracts because Kyrie is an expiring deal, and and, they, and, and, then, and that team can then decide to either keep him or just buy him out. Okay. Like, because as an expi- for whatever you could do with Russ, you could do with Kyrie. Right. They have that's, different that's issues fair. for different reasons. So I don't think you'd have to necessarily. But if the three doors are cut him. Trade him for role players on mediocre or bad contracts to add depth, or keep it as is. I think keep it as is is their worst option, assuming he's reinstated. Obviously, ever since Kyrie made a a horrible decision to demand a trade from LeBron, it's gone badly. All right? In in Boston – Started out well, right? 22-4, and four, I think they started out really playing well. And then from there, he got hurt, and they ended up being better without him. Yep. Obviously, Brooklyn's been a hor- just a horrible situation. But here's what I would do if I were to run in the Nets. I'm watching us. They, like you said, the defense is much better. The offense looks better, too. More ball movement. Yeah, they're Everybody's not scoring involved. as much. Not but right. It, but it, it, but it looks the like, eye test, it looks like a real team. Yes. It doesn't yes. look like just guys who came together and started and playing And the pickup. spirit looks better. 100%. The camaraderie. I mean, they just, they just do. All right? They, everything looks better. What I would do, if Kyrie ends up, I don't, we'll even be back in five games, two more games, yeah. right? If he takes care of everything he needs to and he's back, handles the press conference well. That's the first step, right? He's got to handle that press conference well. I would, I'm watching everything. I'm watching the camaraderie, the ball movement, the defense. They're looking better without Kyrie. When he gets back, I, first of all, if I'm Jacques Vaughn, I coach him. And if you're not following the game plan, I'm pulling you out. I'm, I mean, I'm really coaching. I'm not like, oh, that's the superstar. Let him do what he wants. Yeah. I'm pulling you out if you're not running the game plan, if you're not sharing the ball, whatever. All right? That's number one. And then if I see that our spirit goes south again, if we're performing terribly again, then I, I was thinking I'd cut him, but you make a great point. Let me see it because I think he's virtually untradeable, but maybe a team right. looking to get that off That Pacers deal might work for the Nets too. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I mean, right. who knows? I mean, so I would look at that, but I, I, I'm with you in that I would look at moving on from it. But I'll give him a shot first because I've invested so much money into him, mm-hmm. and I'm paying him $37 million right now, so I would give it one more shot. Okay, one more shot. Knicks-Nets tonight. You'll be there I'll rooting be there. for who? 
What rooting for who? I don't. I don't rooting I mean, for Marshall disaster. Observer. That's I mean, what he's Marshall rooting for. Oh, okay. But no, I'm really excited. Disaster, I, to be so honest, just come quickly, on here and have a good I'm show. excited. I haven't seen Donovan Mitchell in. Oh, sorry. You know what? That was unfair. I'm don't sorry. I have a T3. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, I gotta wait for the Cavs <laughs> to come to town. Tom one. Brady talking about the Bucks effort next. First thing now, uh, oh. Brooklyn Nets broke one of their own rules too. Made a wise decision. <laughs> <laughs> Made interim coach Jacques Vaughn the head coach. After a week of rumors that Ime Adoka was slated to take the helm, even though he's currently suspended by the Celtics. Vaughn's been with the team since 2016, was the interim coach post Kenny Atkinson firing, but the bulk of experience was with the Frisky Magic, where he didn't win a ton of games. Brew, do you like this decision by Brooklyn? It's fine. Oh, it's fine. Okay. All right, let me just put it this way. On my list of regrets that I have for why I picked the Brooklyn Nets to sure. win the East. This is way down the list. All right, I'm not worried about Jacques Vaughn sure. being the coach. It's right still there. now, no, I don't want your Olive Branch. They, they do, can't no, even hire I do the coach. Not right. want your Are you sure? Branch, all right? It's right here. I, they I will can't say even this. get the no, coach right. Okay. I, I don't have a pick yet. I mean, I everybody, know. Brooklyn, we, Kyrie's out, the coach is gone. I, I, I don't even think I need an Olive Branch to be like, that's not happening. I think it's just right, ooh, but you haven't. But you refused laws, to do that. But that's laws. fine. Take what anyway, you here, here, here's the thing. Remember, a decade ago, Jacques Vaughn was like the new hotness, mm-hmm. right? He, come, he was in San Antonio with Popovich. Yep. He was going to be the next great coach. And then people that saw Orlando, him yeah, but that Orlando team, it was the year Dwight Howard left or after he left. So it was young. Look, I'm not saying the guy's going to do a great job. I'm just saying. The, the number one goal for the Nets right now is not necessarily the whole season, but right now is to, stop is to become, themselves. yes, become more of a basketball franchise <laughs> than a soap opera. I agree with you. And Ime Udoku, maybe you hire him next year because I think he'll be a great coach again for maybe for the Nets. But next year you can hire him. But yeah. right now. So Jacques Vaughn's Jacques contract Vaughn. is through 2024. Right, but they can fire him. As yeah. I mean, Bruce point. Goes well, bad. They can right. plan to <laughs> fire him, which it would obviously will go bad. And not because really? Of- Definitely will go bad. Well, I mean, if the Nets still think they're contenders, this they're not, and so that it will go bad. Listen, I don't know if Jacques going to do a good job here or not. He did a good job coaching them in the bubble. Mm-hmm. Uh, Katie and Kyrie were on that team. They weren't playing, but they were on the team. They could have advocated that he keep the job and said they advocated for Steve Nash to get the job, and then it seemed like there was maybe some excitement about Udoka getting the job, and now it's Jacques Vaughn's job. Jacques Vaughn, in his career, though, of guys who have coached 200 games, has the fourth-worst record ever. It's Sidney Lowe, Tim Floyd, who took over for the Bulls after Jordan retired, Pippen left, Great Phil left, at Iowa State. and Kurt Rambis, who parlayed that into running the Los Angeles Lakers, which favorite is just guys. nice for everyone involved. Uh, here's my question, Wild. Yeah. How are the Nets so bad at everything? They don't. How know. how can you not only let it leak, but seemingly intentionally leak? That you are hiring a polarizing, let's call it that, head coach in Ime Udoka and deal with all the backlash of that without making sure you can hire him. How do you, this is a cartoonish, and that's an insult to cartoons. Like, there's not, there's, how do you let it leak? Seemingly strategically leak it right. the mo- within see. hours after that Nash is fired that you're going to hire this guy and then let it fester for a week as a sub controversy to your steaming flaming pile controversy mm-hmm. and then be like ah we'll just go with the interim guy in fact we'll give him a two year deal and I got one other question that I want to run by you is it on the board that one of the reasons they fired Nash when they did was because they were like. We can get Ime Udoka. If they knew they couldn't get Ime Udoka or they weren't going to, would they have fi- were they rushing to make Jacques Vaughn the head coach? Or would they, it's just, I'm not saying Jacques won't yeah, do a good Nash job. Nash was the right move. Regardless, I, I thought, the, the I agree with was. you on that, but I'm, that's what I thought. That's what you thought. I'm saying within the Nets organization, they decided to weather the storm with Nash when Kevin Durant asked them to fire him and said he wanted to be traded. They then gave it seven games, seemingly because they thought they were going to hire Udoka, and now they're hiring a guy who's been the interim before Nash was there. I mean, it makes zero sense. <laughs> and Mark Stein reported that strong voices within the league t- said, hey, don't do this. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, you guys can't run your own franchise, so let us step in and give you some strongly worded advice. Don't do Good this. advice from the league. Well, yeah, but right. it's also advice that pretty much anybody could have given them. Anyone could see, like, hey, one team suspended their coach. Don't hire him after a week. Just, just let's use our heads. Here's my thing, Brew. This has been a consistent pattern of not quite knowing which direction to go in. I'll just run you through the litany of things. Kyrie can't play until he's vaccinated. You know what? Kyrie can play. We changed our mind. We want Harden. Harden's the answer. You know what? We don't want Harden. You know who we want? Well, he forced them. He, he sure. forced yeah, them. Yeah, but, but now, we're go- now we have Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is going to help us in the playoffs. Wrong? Ben Simmons needs a, debil- has a debilitating back injury. We got to get him. We're not firing Steve Nash. We are going to fire Steve Nash. We saw enough after seven games. And now we're going to – Adoka is going to be our coach. Nope, we're not. According to Sean Marks here, and I can't make this up, and he, he makes it so easy for us. So easy. Here's what Sean Mark said. Uh, Jacques basketball acumen competitive